Hi guys, how are you? I just realized it's 8.02. I'm sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. I was just doing some things here in my craft room, getting ready for you guys and um, lost track of time. I'm like, oh dang, I need to get online. So um, as the feed populates and you are, you can see me and hear me, let me know by saying hi or giving me some hearts or some thumbs up so I know that you're here. I really like it when you say hi so I can see you um, and say hi to you personally. And I don't um, do a whole lot of hi, so-and-so, hi, so-and-so, but I do like to thank those first ones that come on. Hi, Carol and Penny and Melissa. So glad you could join tonight. Lots of hearts, I love it. I love it. All right, you girls just made this girl feel good tonight. Thank you. All right, so I see some of you, a uh, little call to action. Can someone, Melissa Winko, since you're on here and you are always doing so good at this, I set my VI Peeps group so you could share the video to that group. So would you mind sharing the video to that group so that way I don't have to make my computer all jiggly and stuff while I'm moving my screen. Um, I would appreciate it if you would share it to the VI Peeps. And um, hi everyone, okay. So I'm excited to see all you guys here and I'm excited to share this fun um, more than one project tonight. So normally I only do one project. I'm gonna do some extra ones tonight. So hopefully you'll be able to stay around and check out what's going on and see some fun projects. Um, tonight I'm featuring projects with the Berry Blessings Bundle. Okay, and it is so cool. It is one of the free celebration offerings and celebration ends at the end of this month. So if you love this tonight, then you're going to want to make sure that you start writing out your order so you can get this before it's gone. So in the little celebration catalog, that's where our freebies are right now. There is this awesome bundle. It is the Berry Blessings Bundle, and it's kind of a little different than the bless the bundles that are on our catalog, because normally it's a stamp set and a punch, or a stamp set and a die. Um, this is a stamp set and a gorgeous designer series paper. So it's a full pack. Look at all those pretty prints. Just so cool. I love it. So we're going to do some projects featuring that and the Berry Blessings stamp set. And then also the Sweet Strawberry Bundle. Um, it is currently on unorderable, the Sweet Strawberry. Not, not the Berry Blessings that's in here, but the Sweet Strawberry and the Strawberry Punch that you're going to see me use tonight is currently unorderable because the punch is, um, they're having some delivery delays. But the good thing is, is that that bundle is going to be available all the way through the January to June catalog. So even if you love this strawberry bundle that you can get for free, the paper and stamp bundle, get it now in February before it's too late. And then as soon as the straw, sweet strawberry bundle is in, then you can order that and then you'll have the two to go together. Okay, so I'm gonna show you real quick the first project that I'm gonna share with you tonight. Oh, and even before I do that, if you guys see something tonight and you want to add it to your wish list, this is the current host code for February. So 74YQJYWX. So right there. Um, and I'll put it up again. It's also in the post down below so you can see it there when you shop on my online store. And that's going to get you presents from me when you use that host code. Um, so you'll want to use that whenever you place an online order. Um, so this is a project that that I made this past week for some really awesome ladies at a local church, Jonesville Baptist Church. We do some crafting with their women's ministry group. Can you see me? Nope, you can't see me. That's okay. Um, so this sweet, sweet project um, was a gift to them. And I'll take it down in just a second. I want to make sure you guys see it because this is what I'm going to make for you guys tonight one of the things I'm gonna make. And um, it is a tall, skinny, kind of like a bag box or a box bag. Um, and I have to tell you, at the end after I make it, I posted that 
on Instagram today and asked, what do you think is in there? What do you think I put in there? Um, Penny, I see you're on there. Don't type in what was in there because we want to see what people think. And then I'm going to show you all the suggestions that people gave me and we're going to see what fits in it. Okay, so I'm going to flip the camera down and we're going to get stamping. Okay, here is my table. This is what I'm going to be using tonight. I have, oh, let me just show you the bundle. This is the Berry Blessing stamp set that comes with this amazing designer series paper. Look at all of these pretty prints. They are so very cool. Okay, you got strawberries, you've got blueberries, you've got raspberries, you've got all these cool prints on the back little ginghams and such cute things and these ones that have different all the different fruits on them so sweet huh because all that fruit is sweet right and this really cute stamp set and it coordinates with the sweet strawberry stamp set and the Strawberry Builder Punch. Now this is the one I told you is not orderable at the moment, but I'm showing you anyway, because I want you to see it because it is gonna be available again and you need to order this now and then get this later when it's back available. Um, and so anyone that wants a reminder, if you know that you want this sweet strawberry and you wanna make sure you don't miss it, just send me a message and I'll add you to a list to make sure that I let you know when it's back in stock. Okay, so I kind of have a little template here for my little bag. So if you want to try this out with me, you can get your paper trimmer out and you can try to do this along with me. So this is my little template and we're going to start out with a piece of designer series paper that's five and a half inches by nine inches long. So I have that here. Okay, there's my piece of designer series paper. I'm using this side is what I want on the outside. And we are going to score at four places. I'll set that there. On the short side, we are going to score at, let me move all this stuff out of the way. This is all the things we're going to use. I don't need them right now. Okay. We are going to score first at one and one quarter. So the great thing about our trimmer is that it has both a cutting and a scoring blade. So you only need one tool to do so many cool things. So I've got it lined up at one and a quarter and I'm going to score. And then we're gonna score at two and a half. And then we're going to score at three and three quarters. And then we're going to score one more time at five. Okay, now I'm going to turn this around. And you can see here we need to score at one and a quarter to create what's going to be our bottom flaps. So I'm gonna score here on, I'm using the right hand side of the measuring spot to score one and a quarter. Okay, so now we have all of our pieces, all of our score lines done. Okay, so there's that for reference. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to burnish. I'm going to fold all my score lines and give them a good burnish with my bone folder. This is such an easy box and what's really cool, so I have to tell you I was inspired by or I kind of followed along a tutorial by Poodles Paper Crafts. It's Sam Donaldson. She's a um, demonstrator in the UK and she makes lots of cute little boxes and bags and 3D projects. And so I saw this tutorial of hers and the box was way too big for what I wanted to make. And so this was a really easy box to modify to get 
the size that you wanted. Um, so, you know, we've got one and a quarter inch panels and one and a quarter on the bottom. So if you needed it to be bigger, you would do, you know, a two inch panel, two, four, six, eight, and then you'd have a little half strip there for eight and a half, and then you would score two inches on the bottom. So it uses the same measurement for each of these score lines and this one to create a cube, basically. So it's really easy to replicate or modify it. So the next thing we're gonna do is each of these, I've created these little squares here. You can see here, what we're gonna do is just snip up to create these four tabs. So I'm gonna just take my snips and go up. And then this last little half inch, we're just gonna cut that completely out throw that away. So now we have four little tabs like so. Okay. So next you're going to need some adhesive. I'm going to use my stamp and seal plus and I'm going to put adhesive on this half inch little tab here because this is what's going to hold or be adhere adhered to hold this little box closed. Okay, and so I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to, let me make sure I don't have any adhesive sticking out. I don't want to st stick my project to parts they're not supposed to be stuck to. And they should line up perfectly. So I folded basically one tab, big tab and the little tab all the way over. And then this one I'm going to fold over and it should line up perfectly so that you then have your square shape. See? Hello down there. Okay. So now you have basically a square or long rectangle. A rectangle, a square tube. Is there such a thing, a square tube? Okay. So now I'm gonna put some adhesive on three of these tabs. Okay. Um, Oh, Kelly, these papers are so pretty, so pretty, and they're only available a little bit longer. Okay, so I was looking for where I had that little half inch tab, and it's back here. And the reason I was looking there is I want that to be the back. So that's the only tab I'm not going to put adhesive on. So I'm going to kind of fold that in or just get it out of the way for a minute, and I'm going to put adhesive on all three of the other tabs. Okay, so we'll stick that back in. So I'm going to go with the one to the left and then put the one to the right down. Oh, I have to take this together. And then the front one is going to go just like that. So now we created just a super simple box bottom. So easy. Okay, so there is our little box. Now, on her tutorial, she partially scored down these sides, but I actually didn't feel like I needed to do that to give like a crease going in. So I just took and kind of folded it together like that. And as you can see, we've got that cute little box, okay? Now we have to decorate it, so I've got some things to decorate it. I'm going to show you a couple different things. Got some little scraps. I think I just need that. And first, I have in my stash like a bunch of these little tiny clothespins. Now all of these come from past project kits, from my Stampin' Up! kits, paper pumpkins when they have extras or something. And so I just stick them in this thing, and whenever I want to use them on a project, I go and grab them out. So I have this cute little clothespin that is perfect to hold that shut. Okay, now we have a couple things to do for our little tag. And then I'm gonna, once we get the tag put on, I'm gonna show you 
what went in there. All right, so we need to first, this is a two inch circle punch and I have embossed that with the Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder. Okay, so that's the one I use to emboss our two inch circle punch. This is just basic white. All right, and then we need, this is one of the designer series papers and we're gonna use this side that has the little strawberry seeds on it. And we're gonna take that strawberry punch and I am going to punch a strawberry out and make a mess. This punch makes a mess, but it's so fun because it has all these bits and pieces. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to take some of the, this is a strip that I cut off of the DSP for the box, and I'm going to use it to punch a stem for my strawberry. It's an easy way, see, to get a cute little stem for our strawberry without even stamping or anything, super easy. And now what I'm gonna do is I want to take a glue dot and stick that in place. I'm gonna grab my glue dots out. Let's see. Put that there. And we are gonna stamp our little sentiment on this little piece. Now first, I'm gonna use the Pick a Banner Punch to flag, this is a three quarter inch wide piece of cardstock, just white cardstock, and I just wanted to flag the ends. And then I'm gonna use this little stamp that says, just for you. And this one is from the Sweet Strawberry stamp set. And I'm stamping in Poppy Parade. Like that. Okay, and let's see, where's my scissors? We just need to trim a little bit of this off. And now we're gonna assemble this piece. So I wanted, oh, I need a little bit, I need a little less there. Oh, and it's short now. I'm gonna pull a Penny Share Me. She, no, you know who it was? It wasn't, Pen, was it you, Penny, that, that got the paper stuck in the other day? Or was it, um, Oh, who was sitting next to me? Now I can't remember her name. Don't try this at home. Um, all right, there we go. It was just a little too long. I could have snipped it with my scissors, um, but it's kind of tricky when you have all that extra, not long enough in there. I should have done that before, before I cut it. It was you. That's what I thought. Benny. <laughs> Sorry to call you out, girlfriend. <laughs> All right. I want this strawberry to just be right there on our little sentiment. And the strawberry is going to go on here on some dimensionals. So we're going to put that and a dimensional there. We were having fun, Penny. We were having fun. Okay. So that is going to go right there. It's already looking cute. See, I still think that's too long. So I'm just going to manually do this with my snips. Okay. And now it needs a bow, right? So I'm going to take a little... A little bit of uh, this is our linen thread on the picture that I showed you guys I used white Baker's twine but I'm like I'm gonna use my favorite linen thread because it's so cute if I can get my fingers to work here tonight all right tie a little double bow because why not all right not my best bow job today, but it's gonna work. 
it's gonna work. All right, a cute little linen bow. We're gonna add that with a glue dot right there. So cute. And then we're gonna stick it on our box just like that. And so then you have this adorable little giftable box. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. And that strawberry to die for. I love it so much. Now, this is so funny. I have to share with you guys. I told you that I asked on Instagram, what would you put in it? Now, I didn't tell them how big it was. Okay. Um, I didn't tell them how big it was. And I got Look, I got all kind of things. These are all the things that people said they thought might have gone in there. So I thought, let's just test them all out. So I got let's I got all kind of things in here to test out. One was um, ink spots. These are ink spots. These are our little ink pads that you can buy um, on Inked. Hmm. I think they're a little big. So ink spots would not fit in there. They're like just barely, you can see, just barely too big. So ink spot will not, so I'm gonna cross that off the list. Ink spots off the list. Stamp a mist. Hmm, let's see. I don't think it's gonna fit. Oh, it might. Well, it actually does with, it's a little bulgy, but it does fit. But here's the thing. We don't sell this size stamp and mist anymore. So it does fit the retired stamp and mist. So we can say, where's that? Yes, retired size. It only comes in a big bottle, which is great because you need more of it anyway. So that kind of fit. All right. Take your pick tool. Someone said, take your, tick pool. take your pick tool will fit. That will. The take your pick tool does fit indeed. Yes. Let's see. Liquid glue. It's a little tight, but you can see down in there kind of. It fits. It went in. Liquid glue fits. This is so funny. I was like, we're going to see. Someone said one of our new blending brushes. Hmm. Wow, look at that. One of our new blending brushes fits in there. That's pretty cool. Those are so fun. We need to do some videos showing these. I haven't used them on video yet, but they are super fun for blending colors. Um, someone said two spools of twine stacked. Oh, Lynn Streifer. Lynn said that it worked. How awesome. Okay. So there's something that works. That's our, um, what is that called? Our well-suited twine combo pack. We also have our snailed it twine combo pack and like a blushing bride and a white. I love twine. Someone said, um, let's see, that worked. Um, okay, someone said Starburst. I don't have Starburst, but I thought like if this was in half, like that might be Starburst size. So I actually think Starburst would work. I had this candy. We're going to say Starburst would work. All right, a couple more. Like Roll of Lifesavers. Huh. Yes, that will fit. We're almost done and we're going to move on. Roll of Lifesavers. Where'd it go? Chocolate pretzel rod. I don't have one, but that will fit. Um, bath and body lotion. I didn't have that, but I did have like a body gel from the body shop. It's a little too big. So I'm going to say no. Um, someone said a bottle of wine. I don't think that's going to fit. What do you guys think? I mean, it could go 
you could put it over the top and do something silly, but it's not going to fit. So bottom line is no. Um, a bone folder. A bone folder fits. Yes, look at all these things that fit. Ice wine or ice pop. I don't think that's going to fit. Last thing was Wink of Stella. And that, my friends, is what the ladies at their women's ministry group got as a gift yesterday was a Wink of Stella in there. So of all those guesses, that is what I had in those cute little and those cute little things were Wink of Stella. So I had to go back and see who guessed Wink of Stella. I did see someone here, but all those things fit in there. How cool is that? Ooh. All right. Do you guys want to see... Do you guys want to see some more projects with that Berry Blessings? If you want to see some more projects, say yes, please, in the comments. And if you do, I have four really sweet and simple and quick cards I can show you. So type yes, please. So I know I see some hearts. Use your words, as you would tell a three-year-old. Please use your words. Let me get settled here. Yes. All right, Becky. Becky says yes. Cindy says yes. Yes, please. Wendy, yes. Okay. All right, you twisted my arm. <laughs> Let me grab out my make and takes for this. All right, so... Um, Back in December, I had together with two of my bestest friends and super stampin' up um, awesome sisters, Hattie and Michelle, we worked together to support each other and our teams. So we had a team event at the end of December to help our demonstrators, to kind of train our demonstrators to be ready and have samples and um, fun things to play with out of the new catalog. So that's something that I love being able to do is provide some crafting, some kind of exclusive crafting opportunities for my team. Um, and so if you're looking for um, a sense of camaraderie or um, that you have a group that you can connect with in your crafty life and you haven't found that yet, then you should come check out our team. Um, we have an awesome promotion on the starter kit this that runs through the end of this month where in addition to all the awesome things that come with it, you also get five packs of designer series paper and you get me as a responsive team leader a responsive. I'm here for you. I help guide you along your way or just show you how to get the best bang for your buck. We have an awesome group of demonstrators and um, we have a lot of fun. So much fun that we craft in the Zoom room on Thursday nights. And so for those of you that are in the VI peeps, my, cus my exclusive group, and if you're not, you need to join it. There's a link in the video for you to join the group because all the fun is going to be happening over there. So I do this video over here so we can share it out, but more things are going to be happening over there more and more each week. So I want you guys to join that group so we can have fun over there. And one of the things I'm doing this week is I'm, I'm inviting anyone in the VIP to come craft with my team and I on Thursday night for our craft night. It's just a craft and chat night on Zoom. So if you would like to join us this Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, then we would like you to come and just craft with us from your craft room. Um, have a glass of wine, be in your PJs, it doesn't matter. Um, so, But make sure that you are in my VIP peeps because that's where I'm gonna share the information for you guys to join, okay? So now let's do some more crafting. All right, so this is how my team kinda, this is how they got their make and take packet for that event. And we are going to stamp some really super cute cards. So we're gonna start out with this rich Razzleberry card base. 
And to help out, I've done some of the work ahead of time. I've got it here waiting for me so I didn't have to do all the things. We're going to have the magic of TV. Okay. So we've got this lovely Rich Razzleberry card base. And I'm going to fold this in half and give it a good burnish. And this is one of those super pretty papers from that designer series paper that comes with a stamp set that's free with any hundred dollar order. So you've got these kind of blackberries on this side or raspberries. I guess they're more blackberries because they're kind of purple. And this is like a little seed pattern, but is a really cool pattern for other cards like um, things like this. It's, you know, you don't have to use it like a berry type pattern. This is another celebration uh, stamp set that you can get for free. Heal your heart. Um, so that's another way you can use that. But we're going to go ahead and put this paper down here Oops. and just add this to our card front. Now these cards were actually designed by my friend Hattie. We each, Hattie, Michelle, and I designed three classes to share with our teams and we had a Zoom and each of us demonstrated and shared our projects and Hattie's was this Berry Blessings bundle. So I'm sharing those projects that she made for our team and um, I'm missing a piece of paper. I'm always missing something. Oh, there it is. I'm not really missing it. I'm not really missing it. Okay. So I've got all my stamps here ready for you. So we're going to do some stamping of this berry. So I've got a piece of basic white here and I'm going to start with the little berry outline. So we need two of those. And then I'm going to stamp the kind of detail stamp part. And since these are photopolymer stamp sets, you can see kind of through them. It makes it pretty easy. And they're not made to be exact. So you don't have to worry too much about that. I'm going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment. The stamp sentiment says, you always have a way of making my day. I love that sentiment. So I've got um, this die cut already. I think it's going to go right there. Okay. And now we're going to need some leaves in Garden Green. So that other ink was Rich Razzleberry and this is some Garden Green. We're going to do one of those leaves. Oh, I need to ink up this ink pad, huh? There we go. And then also we have got did I have, oh, the little leaves, the little kind of tops of the berries. So we need two of these. Oh, I stamped them out of order, but you'll see it works okay. Since they're photopolymer, you can see through. Um, I'm just gonna line this up over top. Sorry if you see my head. Okay, and now all of those have to be cut out, but through the magic of TV, we have them cut out. So I've got my berries. I've got my berries and my two little stem tops and that cute little piece. So you would just take your snips and snip those out or fussy cut them, however you want to call it. We're going to add this to the card front with dimensionals. So we'll grab some of those. All right. And then we're going to add our berries. I'm just going to use some glue dots to make it nice and easy. I'll do this and do that. Let's see. And we're going to do that. I love glue dots. It makes things like this super easy. So I'm going to put one right about there. 
And I'm going to layer another one right about there. We're going to add our little berry stems on. And it doesn't matter where the tops go because we're going to cover it up with that big one. Oops, that one needs to go on first. It's paper. You can just lift it up. And then we're going to add this up here at the top. So there's our leaves all added with the ease of glue dots. And then I think we need a bow because Jennifer likes bows. Now this one, because the card is tall and there's length here, I'm going to leave um, my tails a little long. So that way you can have these little curly tails and that looks really cute on a card. We were um, at the class on Sunday. I had pretty much ribbon on almost everything and I do like bows. And then when I have in-person classes, which isn't that much anymore because of the pandemic, but when I did, I would always be willing to tie bows. Alright, so there is that cute card. Oh, it's missing one thing. It's missing some bling. So these are the Artistry Bloom sequins. And we are just going to add some bling to our card. Because everything is better with bling. All right, how cute is that little card? So cute. All right, I'll show you all of them when we're done. All right, next we're going to move on to a super bright and fun card. So we've got a Pacific Point card base. So we're gonna go ahead and Fold and burnish that. Oops. Fix that a little. Okay, and we've got a couple pieces of designer series paper here that we're gonna layer. Does that not remind you of like a picnic table, like a picnic tablecloth for a romantic picnic? It sure does me. So we're gonna add this to the bottom of our other designer series paper. So it just kind of peeks out of the bottom and then add that to our card front. Now, since these cards are darker, I will finish them off with a piece of Whisper White on the inside and maybe a strip of coordinating designer series paper, but I'm just gonna show you guys the fronts right now. We've got a piece of Poppy Parade here that's also embossed with that same Tasteful Textiles 3D embossing folder. We have a stitched circle, and we also have this little piece that we're gonna stamp our sentiment on. So we are going to use some Pacific Point ink and stamp our sentiment. Right there. Wishing you the very best. How cute. Oh, it's a little crooked. So good thing is there's two sides to every piece of paper. So I can stamp, oh yeah, that's better. Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this. Oh, actually we need to tie some ribbon on here. So I'm gonna take my twine and I'm gonna wrap it around a couple times. We're gonna tie a little bow on here. Oh, it's kind of fun. I, you know, I usually do one project on Monday night, but I 
think that I could do some more for you guys if I um, am so nice and prepared like I am tonight. So for those of you who may not know, I do work full time, Monday through Friday, 40 hours, regular big girl job. And then I come home and I do this on nights and weekends. And so it just depends on time, but we'll see what we can do with that. Okay, so that's going to go on here. We're just going to add that down flat using my stamp and seal. It's going to go right about there. And I put a little glue, a little adhesive over here and over here. Or maybe I'll zoom in for you guys a little bit. Maybe that would be helpful. Okay, so we got our little bow. This is going to go on some dimensionals on our card front. Right about there. And then we're going to add our little sentiment and it's going to go up on dimensionals as well. Covering up that crooked stamp that I did. Okay, and then in my little container over here, I have a couple strawberries that I cut out of the designer series paper. Okay, so I just took my scissors and trimmed them out. And we're going to add these to the card on a dimensional. This paper is just so awesome. You can do so much with it. Oh, this one's a little big. I think I'm going to stick this one up here because it's so big. I'm going to put the smaller one down below. All right. I need this strawberry to be on top of my paper. There we go. I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move it. Okay, I need to add some dimensional up there. So sometimes you just have to go with the flow. I'm adding two dimensionals to that because it's got a dimensional here and a dimensional underneath. So that way it's all nice and supported. And what's left to add? It needs some bling. So I've got some more of our little sequins, the Artistry Bloom sequins. Add one there. Add one there and another one. Get on there, little booger. We'll do, where do we want this one? I feel like it needs to go over here. Okay. So there is card number two. How cute is that? See how pretty those papers are, guys? So pretty. Tanya, you need to have it. You need to have it. All right, card number three. Oh, these colors are so pretty. Kelly Besser, you said blueberries? You're gonna like this one. All right, we're gonna do some stamping. Let's go ahead and just fold our card base. This uses a Granny Apple Green card base and some Pacific Point and a piece of that blue, oops, blueberry paper. Let me make sure I'm in view. And we're gonna stamp some things here with Granny Apple Green and Pacific Point. So the first thing we're gonna do is just stamp our little sentiment. This is from the Sweet Strawberry. It says, whoops, hello there. Let me zoom back out just a little. I think we're going to need that again. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take and stamp some 
blueberries on here. And I'm going to need a piece of grid paper because we're going to get a little messy. Oh, do I have a piece of grid? I do have a piece of grid paper. Okay. So let me bring this in here for us since we're going to get stamp off the edge a little bit. Okay, so we're going to start out with stamping some blueberries. So the first thing we're going to do is stamp the outline. I have too many things in the way, don't I? Stamp that outline and we're going to go kind of off the edge a little bit of that circle. And the next thing we're going to do is use the detail of the berry punch and fill in those berries like so. Look at the detail on those berries. Like that is just, this stamp set is so dang amazing. The next thing we're going to do is use the stem and what's cool about this is the stem is made to attach to the bottom of the two big blueberries and then it goes between them like so. Look at that and then it's got the detail so you're just going to line it up over that. Oops. How pretty is that? I could also see doing this kind of like in the winter time with red as like the little red holly berries. I know these aren't holly leaves, but I think you could get away with it. Um, 100%. I think you could do that. That would be so pretty. We're going to use the leaf outline again because what we're going to do is we're going to stamp some on the side of this. So what we're going to do is take the Pacific Point, make sure I got it clean enough, I did, and we're just going to kind of stamp some leaves along the side just to kind of, and I'm going different directions, we're just giving some stamped image detail along the edge of our paper, okay, and it was already embossed, and can you guess which embossing folder I used? The Tasteful Textile 3D. It's like the bomb diggity. Okay. So let's get these stamps all out of the way. And we will put this one together. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to layer this on top and that's why we wanted that stamped image over here okay just to kind of give some additional detail there so we're going to add that with our stamp and seal and just layer that right to the edge oops it's a little crooked so the stamp and seal is slightly repositionable so if you get it kind of a little wonky you have a second to pull it up oh you can slide it around a little bit too all right so there's that and we're gonna add some twine so we're going to wrap we're gonna be tying a bow kind of down towards the bottom so we'll wrap around cut off about that much Now I'm going to offer you guys a special for anyone that places an order between now and next Monday before we go live again. Um, I'm going to give you guys all the make and takes to be able to recreate these four cards and the little box that I did tonight. Um, you'll use your own designer series paper and inks, but I'll send you all the paper supplies and the ribbon to do all five of these projects. When you place an order of at least $100 and you get the Berry Blessings, if you already have the Berry Blessings bundle, you can do, you can get anything you want, but I'll still, with an order over $100, we'll send you 
all the make and takes for these cards so you can recreate them at home. All right, this is going to be added to our card front on dimensionals because I want you to be able to just be prepared to go right into having this awesome bundle and having these fun projects ready made to go. And then you can come back to the video and see how to make them and follow along with your kit. All right, this paper is so pretty. There is that piece. And then we're going to add this piece. Again, we're going to use plenty of dimensionals. They're our favorite adhesive followed by glue dots. This one's going to go. Actually, I want to see if I can slide my bow down a little bit. Sometimes you can. It's kind of hard after it's already on. I think it'll be fine. There's that. We'll add our little hello there. It's going to go right there. And then, bling! So it has some cute blue. Let's see, we'll start over here. Put one, oops, it's on my finger. Right there. And then another one up there, okay. So there is card number three. So colorful and pretty and happy. Okay, one more. One more card. This uses that same paper that I made the box out of. So you could maybe um, gift these together. When you place your order and you get all the supplies and you cut this and you have this card You'll cut this and then you'll be able to um, put it all together and have a little cute gift. All right, so we've got here a piece of shaded spruce cardstock and a piece of granny apple green, and this is a piece of that beautiful leaf paper. Um, I went ahead and stamped out the sentiment and cut it out because you guys don't need to see me stamp and cut that out. Um, and I have three leaves that are cut out of one of the piece of designer series paper. So let's go ahead and fold our card base. And we are going to layer these two and it just has a little nice eight inch, eighth of an inch border. going to go on our card base just like that and then we have um, two die cut pieces so these are both cut out with the hippo happiness um, dies and do I have those here handy so We've used a couple of these. The sentiment from one of our, from the, um, the Sperry card came from here. These are the label dies. And then we're using these. So these dies in here are super versatile in the Hippo and Friends dies. And what we're going to do is we are going to first take some of our twine and we're going to kind of do a little... Oh, I don't know, what do you call it? Like a little nest, a little messy nest underneath. Let's see if we can get it to work. So basically, we want some of this to peek out. 
so I'm going to do it longer. So I just wrap my wrap it around my fingers and kind of adjust the width of my fingers based on how I want it. And now we're going to cover up in the center. So I'm going to cheat this. I'm going to cheat it. I'm going to show you guys one of my cheats. One of my cheats is tape. Because you're not going to see it. It's going to be underneath. So I'm just going to add a piece of scotch tape there to hold that down. This is going to go here. Okay. So I'm going to add some dimensionals. They're just going to go in the center. So you won't, you're going to make sure that you put your dimensionals where this piece will cover it up. And look there embossed with the Tasteful Textile 3D. <laughs> Repeating theme, huh? So let's see, that's the front side. So we're gonna add those. Oops, that should be good. That's gonna go right over that. And then we're going to pop this one up on dimensionals as well. That's going to go right in the center. And then the leaves are going to be added. So I'm going to use glue dots. Actually, no, I'm just going to use some seal and add these, our stamp and seal. I'm going to start with the one in the middle though, and then work my way up from there. So this one is going to go up, and it should kind of go over the edge just a little on the top and bottom. This one is going to go down, and it is okay if they overlap a little. And then this one, whoops. I'm going to go, oops, wrong way. I almost stuck it down the wrong way, like that. And then the thank you is going to go right over the top. Now I'm going to use the tiniest little piece. I have some of our mini dimensionals here, like a little piece of it, and I'm actually going to cut like a little strip because, you know, sometimes just having little pieces around is handy. Let's see if that will work. I think it will work. Oh, it will. I think I need to cut this one piece off. Surgery. Sometimes you got to do surgery. That's okay to make it look right. Just do a quick surgery. Okay. That is going to go down right over your leaves. And then you guessed it, we have some bling to put on here. I'm just going to sprinkle some on this card. And there you have it. So here's our four cards that we made tonight. It's a puzzle, I'm trying to get them all in your screen. And then pair that with that cute little box gift. And how adorable are those? So five projects tonight, Woo! and it's been an hour. I started the live at 8.02. So thanks for sticking around and hanging out with me, and hopefully you were crafting or getting inspired to do some crafting. 
Um, and just as a reminder, if you shop online using my um, February host code, which is right there, then um, when you place an order of $100 or more, you can get that stamp set. You know, I, I work when I'm on video and I set things aside and then I'm like, where is it? Um, the stamp set with all those gorgeous papers, those berry papers, like I was showing you, look at all of those. Um, you can get that for free. And this week I'll also send you all the make and take supplies for you to just cut your designer series paper and do your stamping on those projects. Um, so for all five of those projects. So I hope you enjoyed tonight and you're looking forward to your little happy mail. Um, and don't forget to go join our VIP peeps group because we're going to have a special invitation for you guys to come craft with us on Thursday night. So hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I hope we see some of you on Thursday and happy stamping. See you guys later. Bye.